This is a short introduction to the MTP2322 Digital Multimeter or DML by John Ansons. Copyright 2014. All rights reserved. Introduction. This will be a short explanation of the functions, ranges, and features of the MTP2322 Digital Multimeter along with a few precautions to prevent damage to the multimeter and possible personal injury. The information provided can be easily applied and used to operate many different makes and models of digital multimeters just by observing the markings on the meter. The digital multimeter is one of the most important pieces of test equipment or tools for the electronic technician, technologist, engineer, electrician and even for the home hobbyist. Having a good understanding of this tool will provide the user with important test information and simplify the testing of many types of electronic and electrical equipment in the lab, shop, home, and car. Well, that's enough of the digital voice of NeoSpeech Paul, so let's get into the heart of all of this, the digital multimeter, or DMM. At the top of this digital multimeter, we have the liquid crystal display, or LCD. The red button just below the LCD on the left side is the power button. Push this button once to turn a digital multimeter on, and a second time to turn a digital multimeter off. To extend battery life, this DMM has an auto power off feature. After 40 minutes, this meter will turn itself off. To turn the meter back on again, all you have to do is push the red power button. In the middle of this digital multimeter, we have a large round rotary switch. This is called the function range switch. This DMM has 10 possible functions. DC voltage, DC current, AC voltage, AC current, resistance, continuity testing and diode checking, capacitance measurements, temperature measurements, frequency measurements, and transistor testing. The DC voltage function has five different voltage ranges. They are 200 millivolts, 2 volts, 20 volts, 200 volts, and 1000 volts. The DC current function has four ranges. They are 2 milliamps, 20 milliamps, 200 milliamps, and 10 amps. Do not try to measure more than 10 amps while using the 10 amp input jack. If you do, permanent damage to the digital multimeter will occur and expose the user to the possibility of personal injury. The 10 amp input jack is not fused and will offer no protection to the user or the multimeter if more than 10 amps is measured. The AC voltage function has four ranges. They are 2 volts, 20 volts, 200 volts, and 700 volts. This is the AC current function. It has the following ranges. 20 milliamps, 200 milliamps, and 10 amps. Again, do not try to measure more than 10 amps while using the 10 amp input jack. This is extremely dangerous and will cause damage to the multimeter and, again, possible personal injury. Now we have the resistance function. We use the Greek letter omega for the symbol for ohms or resistance. This digital multimeter has the following resistance ranges. 200 ohms, 2K or 2000 ohms, 20K or 20,000 ohms. 200k ohms, 2 meg ohms, 20 meg ohms, and 200 meg ohms. Moving around the dial, we now have the diode check function and continuity testing feature. When checking diodes, the forward bias voltage of the diode will be measured and displayed on the multimeter. For example, if you're measuring a silicon diode, the forward bias voltage would be 0.7 volts. For a germanium diode, it would be 0.3 volts. 
When in reverse bias condition, the display will only show the figure number 1. For continuity testing, a sound will be heard only when a resistance of less than 50 ohms is measured. This is the capacitance function. The F on the dial stands for farads. This function has five different ranges. We have 2 nanofarads, 20 nanofarads, 200 nanofarads, 2 microfarads, and 20 microfarads. Using the supplied temperature probe, this meter can measure temperature in degrees Celsius. When this meter is set to the frequency function, you can easily measure frequencies up to 20 kilohertz. This meter has a sensitivity on this function, which means that you have a limit of 200 milliamps RMS, and you should not exceed an input signal of more than 10 volts RMS. Finally, we come to the last function of this multimeter. It is called the transistor check function. Using this feature, we are able to measure the gain characteristic of a bipolar junction transistor commonly referred to as a BJT. This gain characteristic is referred to as HFE or beta. HFE is simply the ratio of collector current to base current. The higher the number, the better the gain characteristic. Now let's explain the various inputs to this multimeter. This black input jack is the common jack or negative input. It is abbreviated as COM or COM. The black meter lead is always inserted here. This will be the common negative input whenever measuring AC or DC voltage, AC or DC current, resistance, continuity testing, or frequency measurements. The red input jack at the bottom right of the multimeter is the positive input jack and the red meter lead is inserted here. This input is common for DC voltage, AC voltage, resistance measurements, diode checking, and frequency measurements. The red jack that's labeled MA is a common positive input jack for measuring DC current and AC current for current values no more than 200 milliamps. The red meter lead is inserted here. If you attempt to measure more than 200 milliamps, either DC or AC, while using this input jack, an internal fuse will blow and will need to be replaced before using this jack again. At the bottom left of this multimeter, we have a red jack labeled 10A. This is the common input jack for measuring DC or AC current in the 10 amp range. The red meter lead is inserted here. It is extremely important not to measure more than 10 amps while using this jack. If you do, there will be permanent damage to the digital multimeter and expose yourself to possible personal injury. This input jack is not fused and must be used with a great deal of caution. To measure the capacitance values of capacitors, use a socket labeled CX. The leads of the capacitor are carefully inserted into these sockets. One lead per slot. Leads will need to be pushed in deep into the socket. This round socket to the bottom right of the LCD display is used for checking transistors, bipolar junction transistors or BJTs. Before testing a BJT, you must know what the emitter, base, or collector leads are and whether or not the transistor is NPN or PNP. This information can be found very easily online by searching the part number of the transistor. Be, pay very careful attention to the view of the transistor on the data sheet, whether it is top view or bottom view. 
This green socket is used for the supplied temperature probe. The probe is inserted here and the other end of the probe will have a temperature measuring device and you can easily measure the temperature of a variety of objects using your digital multimeter.